Nissan have brought their fuel cell vehicle, it runs on hydrogen. I'm going to get a little whiz in it. So storage is under the rear seat? Yeah, so, I mean, not directly, there's yeah. the floor between it. Yeah. And that, um, that looks like a black bin bag with a red band on it. Oh, yeah. the actual tank. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so that's underneath the seat. The fuel cell is actually underneath the centre of the car. Okay. And then... Um, How long does it take to fill it with hydrogen? Um, that, uh, not being, that does depend on the filling equipment. Right. It shouldn't be any longer than to fill a car with petrol. It's okay. on the same sort of time scale. Great. Nice efficient motor. Uh, yeah, so I don't know the figures of the efficiency of the, yeah. of the motor, um, but it's a... Uh, 90, yeah, I think it's 98 kilowatt, this is the fuel cell, which yeah. is the same as the motor. Yeah. And it's 110 Newton metres of torque. Okay, and you're getting about a 0 to 60 and 14, about 14 or so. Not so. bad, is it? Yeah, no, no. One of the early generation fuel cell cars. So just uh, just before we start this, I'm just going to film while we're while we're going along. Can you just take me through the starting procedure in a vehicle like this? Does it does it start like a jet engine? Um, no, you do hear a whir. Okay. Which is the blower motor blowing air into the fuel cell. Right. When I switch it on, I'll do this again in a minute. Switch it on. This screen comes up. Yeah. And when I turn the key, there'll be a green light that comes on here. Okay. And when that green light stops flashing. There's also this display will change and it will say fuel cell starting, please wait. And when that goes back to this screen and the green light stops flashing, then we go. And how long does that take normally? Um, a few seconds, but I've done a few starts and stops today, so it may take a little bit longer. Okay. Because it's just been, it hasn't had a run. Okay. Let's go. I'll just do that so you can see the screen. You don't need to do that. Okay. There's your green light flashing. This is your fuel cell starting. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Well, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Distance to empty 132 miles. So would you consider that a full tank or not? No, that's, um, we're just over okay. um, three, uh, we're less than three quarters of a tank. So we're about um, between half and three quarters. That's it's pretty impressive then, isn't it? Two nuggets to go on there. About 200 miles? Uh, yeah, when, when you first fill it up, you say about 220 miles on the display. Okay. Why have you chosen this as a base vehicle out of interest? It was, um, it was chosen merely because of the size of the package of the, the fuel cell um, and also the EV powertrain. Um, we needed something of a reasonable size. This is a second generation fuel stack, no sorry, first generation fuel stack of Nissan's own manufacture. We've got a much smaller one now. Right. Um, and uh, the future generations of the vehicle obviously, um, first of all, probably won't be based on a current ICE vehicle. There'll be a, a, a special type of um, a vehicle and um, they'll be smaller. Where are you fueling at the moment? Um, we're fueling at the University of Birmingham. Okay. There's a, a very kind gentleman, Dr. Bruno Pollitt, who's um, helping us with the, uh, the refuelings. And the last two refuelings we've actually driven up from Cranfield to Birmingham and then back down again. Right. It's working out quite well. So generally you're getting 150-ish miles out of, out of a tank, are you? 160 miles? That's, what is it? that's what we work on, a conservative um, estimate, yeah. Okay. It's very quiet, isn't it? Nice looking car. Are we realistically going to be driving hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in 10, 15 years? 10, 15 years, I would say it's a strong possibility because along the alternative powertrain roadmap, I think everyone has fuel cells. Yeah. I think all of the OEMs have fuel cells. Um, Nissan in particular are continuing with fuel cell research along with Pure EV um, and also optimising current internal combustion engines. Uh, it's, um, it's an interesting process, the movement towards a completely non 
internal combustion engine future because we will probably see some elements of the internal combustion engine for quite a long time. Um, it, it, it's not practical from the infrastructure point of view to suddenly draw a, a stop and say, OK, we're going pure electric, we're going hydrogen. Um, it needs the local governments, national governments to invest in the infrastructure together with energy companies and also the OEMs. So um, in the future, you mentioned 10, 15 years time, I'm sure we'll have some really good fuel cell powered vehicles. Um, whether the fuel cells are used in conjunction with an electric powertrain, as in this car, as the majority of the, uh, the energy source, or as a range extender, um, it's difficult to tell. But I know there will be a future for hydrogen. Good, thanks. We don't really want to be hydrogen FCV. Well, yeah. It's the fuel cell vehicle from Nissan. <laughs>